Good morning, friends. I know that this has been a little bit of a weird time, and it's weird, it's strange that you are getting to see me on a phone or an iPad or a computer instead of sitting here with me, but we are still gonna do the typical circle time that we normally do. So, is everybody ready? Are you on your bottoms, crisscrossed applesauce? Are your hands in your laps? Okay, are you ready? Who can tell me what month it is? Who can tell me what month it is? It begins with the letter M, M. If you said the month of March, you are right. Good job, it is the month of March. And who knows what this is? Can you see it? It's a little bit far, isn't it? Can you see what this is? A rainbow, we have talked a lot about rainbows. We've talked a lot about rainbows, right? We've done red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And remember, this is just the sign for purple because I don't know the sign for indigo and violet. And so we've just done purple. We kind of improvised, didn't we? So it is the month of March. We have been talking about our season, and our season has been winter. Our season has been winter where what falls? The snow falls all the way to the ground. Good job. Our snow falls, and sometimes we can make a snow man. Sometimes we can make a snowman, but it's not winter anymore. Today is the first day of spring. What do you think this looks like? What do you think this looks like? Maybe something coming out of the ground, like a flower, a flower. Can you show me the sign for spring, spring, and flower? Good job. What scents are we using if you have a flower? If you're picking up a flower and you're holding it to your nose, you would be using your sense of smell. Good job, good job. We talked about our five senses earlier this year. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Today is the first day of spring. It is March the 19th. Let's count to 19. We're gonna clap, okay? And you don't have to clap very loud if you don't want to, or you can clap. It's just whatever you would like to do. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And we're just gonna stop at 19 because today is the 19th. Are you ready to sing our months of the year? Now, I'm gonna need to have a beat. Do you want to do it adagio or allegro? Let's do it adagio first. That way we can have our friends who maybe have not sung this song before, we can maybe show them. And then we can do it allegro and go really fast. Are you ready? Adagio first. So give me a beat. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Cha, cha, cha. Who's ready to do it allegro? Are you ready to do it allegro? Okay, give me a beat and pick it up this time because now we're gonna go allegro and that means fast. Okay, you ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Cha-cha-cha. Very good. Y'all did really, really great. Good jobs doing that. Okay. Let's talk about the days of the week. Who knows what today is? Do you remember? Do you know what today is? Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. So if today is Thursday, today is Thursday, that means yesterday was 
Wednesday. Good job, friends. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. If today is Thursday, that means tomorrow is, who knows what this is? Friday. Tomorrow will be Friday. Good job. Let's sing our Days of the Week song and we will do our signs for it too. So if you know how to do your signs for it, get your hands all ready. <clears throat> okay, you ready? There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job, friends. If you have not seen the video that I put out with um, ASL Meredith, where she is going over our days of the week, we do our days of the week in sign language, and this is what we do. We do Sunday. You can also do Sunday like this, but we kind of pat, 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 Sunday. You do an M for Monday, and you kind of turn it around and kind of do a little, do a little circle. Okay, so you do an M and you turn it around. And then Tuesday, you do a T, and this is our letter for this week. T is our letter for this week. So you just kind of make a little one and put your thumb right here and then put your finger down over it and turn your hand and make another circle and that's Tuesday. Wednesday, hmm, do you know how to do Wednesday? This is W in sign language. W. It looks like a three, how sometimes we do a three, but this is a W, and you're going to turn your hand in and do another circle. Wednesday. Now, Thursday, we do a T. This is how you do a T, but we're going to kind of turn it this way, and we do an H. So it's going to, it's kind of fast. We kind of have to go T-H, T-H, T-H. Good job. T-H. Good job. That's Thursday. Friday, we do an F. We do an F. And we turn our hands and we do a circle. Now, Saturday, Saturday. Can you hear the letter that I'm saying? We went over this a couple of weeks ago. What letter makes that sound? If you said S, you are correct. This is S in sign language. This is S in sign language. Turning it around. And I'm going to do a little circle, just like that. And you want to be careful about where your thumb is. Because if your thumb is right here, that's an A in sign language. If it's under, that's a T. If it's under 2, that's an N. If it's under 3, that's an M. So you want to make sure that your S is in front. Your little thumb is in front and then you turn your hand and this is Saturday so do you want to do it one more time okay there are seven days there are seven days there are seven days in a week Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday good job everybody I know that Thursday is a little bit hard but you did great you did great Okay, friends, I have an important question to ask you. This is my favorite question to ask my students, and everybody likes to do it. Today, outside, does it feel cold, warm, or hot where you are? And it, you might have a different answer than what we, we have. I might have a different answer, and that's okay. That's okay. So right now where I am, it is... It's not super cold. It's not super cold. It's kind of warm. I would not say it's hot, but I would say it's warm. Outside it feels warm. The sun is shining and, mm, oh no, oh no. The sun is not shining. It is not shining and 
you know what let me see oh it's it's snowing outside it's oh mmm it's not snowing we can't make a snowman so today's weather we already said it's not sunny the Sun is not shining and it's not snowing hmm it's cloudy it's cloudy there are clouds outside that are kind of blocking our sun. So today's weather is cloudy. And you may remember that we have talked about the different kinds of clouds. We've talked about the cirrus clouds and the cumulus clouds and the cumulonimbus clouds. Do you remember that the cumulonimbus clouds we give them that big, scary voice because a lot of times those have the rain and those are our thunder clouds. So it doesn't look like it's going to be thundering or lightning today, but it might drizzle some rain today. So if you want to tell me what the weather is where you are, leave a comment. Let us know. Let us know if you're bundled up in a jacket or if you're wearing shorts. Or if you are playing outside in the sun, or if you're playing outside in the rain, let us know. We miss you, friends. We miss you. We are doing well. We hope you are doing well. We love hearing from you, and we're going to be doing these videos so that we can, even though we're all apart, we can still all kind of come together and see each other and be friends. It's good to see you. Have a good day.